Hey guys. So we are we were studying about the mathematical systems, right? So we have so far covered the the undefined terms, and in the defined terms, we are we have covered the points as well as the lines. And in the lines, actually, we are going to continue to study about angles, right? Because I'm going to I'm going to cover the axioms as well as postulates, right? After this video, so that if you understand the angles, it will be easy for you to understand the axioms as well as the postulates right so let's see yeah so i'm going to use the same diagram here i'm just going to give a quick recap on what is there in the picture right okay so this is a road road one this is road two and that's road three and that's road four right and for the other roads i have not given names yet because we are going to study about angles right yeah okay so now there are houses this is your house this is your friend john's house this is bob's house and there is a traffic light in which there is two roads i mean the, both the roads intersect and there is your friend rose house that that is mary's house yeah and right now there is a, a small fish pond there yeah in your subdivision right and this you know the the playground swimming pool and there is a, a small river there what else do you see then some plants some people are walking around yeah this is usually you see this is a very you know small uh, a town yeah when you were small you might have been lost in the in your neighborhood right do you know why and now you know why right because there are so many roads you know going here and there and then so many places to visit you might be attracted to the fish pond and then you kind of you know stayed there and then your parents are searching all over the other places right yeah okay so that's a story anyway let's come back to the subject now right we are going to study about the angles right okay so in the angles what is the what is an angle right so i'll just read the definition for you it is a figure formed by two rays called the sides of the angles sharing common end point called vertex of the angle right so now what do i mean by that yeah see two rays let's take two rays okay let's pick let's pick up one ray as this one yeah a ray has one starting point and the other side goes endlessly right got it remember right okay fine so there is a starting point called m and then this goes through c point c and then the road 3 i'm talking about it goes endlessly the arrow means it it never ends right now see here point n right from point n this this road uh, which goes via s maybe we will name it as r5 r5 road 5 there is a shop there it just pass by the shop and goes forever like it just goes endlessly so there are whatever the points that doesn't have the arrow on the other side it just you know extends towards that direction infinitely right okay fine so now as per this definition for angle right two rays two two rays meeting at a common vertex vertex means what okay let me take uh, maybe yeah uh j okay yeah let's use this itself right okay so we take this one there are two rays if m is a starting point right m is a starting point m is a vertex right because both see the ray from m it goes towards this side and this side as well we are not talking about lines right whenever you decided to go in only one direction then that's the starting point and then you go towards this direction right okay so two rays this is one ray and this is another ray yeah meeting at the same vertex called m right got it yeah and these are two sides of angle so let's let's mark this as an angle oh uh, okay so this is an angle okay so this angle may be we name it as small a yeah angle a right so now how do we name this angle right Th this angle can be written as angle cmj 
right the the vertex letter should always come in the middle right it should come in the middle c m j or j m c right so that is one way of writing the angle the other way of writing is you can just mention the the vertex point this is angle m you can write it that way also yeah and the other way to write an angle is you can say angle a you can give some name for the angle angle a yeah got it okay so now you can also give names as numbers for the angle it's like the angle one angle two angle three something like that yeah okay what symbol that we, uh, do we use to uh, to use to you know represent the angle is something looks similar to greater than symbol and the bottom line is straight and then it's a bit longer yeah so that's how we use the symbol for you know representing the angle so here we can say angle a angle j m c or c m j yeah so that's how we can use yeah the angle yeah okay and also you can give some names if you give angle 2 as a name then this one becomes 2 as well right got it okay fine so the next one so that is what we call it angle right so now we will see what are the different types of angles right okay first one we see is a right angle you know what is a right angle let me read the definition yeah so the right angle is you know it measures 90 degree yeah 90 degree so this one probably will go up to 120 around that much but what is a right angle is when two you know when two rays meet at a vertex and forms a right angle right angle is a 90 degree angle and for a right angle we use what square corner is used for for marking the right angle which means this the for usually for angle we use this curve but for right angle alone we use the square right square curve to you know mark the right angle yeah not square cannot be curved right so it is just a square corner sorry guys yeah square corner we use to mark a right angle got it okay the next one is right like there are different types of angle pairs and then things like that so let's see what are the different angle pairs that we have yeah okay so the first one is the supplementary angle what is a supplementary angle yeah the, the definition is sum of the measure of two angles is 180 degree let's see here actually this one i measured it actually i measured it it was right about 130 actually 130 degree right 130 degree this was about 50 degree actually 50 degree yeah now if you add them together how much do you get 180 right so but if they, they stay in the straight line yeah they are just you know supplementing each other to form 180 degree right so in that case how do we write yeah so if we say this angle as b right or you can use m n also because the this those are the vertex right okay so either you can say angle a and b are supplementary angles that's how we write and or we can write angle m and angle n are supplementary angles got it yeah okay so that is one pair of angles pair means what any two angles making some sense that's what we are talking about here right so the next one is you know complementary angles what is complementary angle right sum of the measure of two angles will be how much 90 degree yeah okay so now for that let's see let's take this one right these two angles you see here this one maybe we will use h and then this one i yeah h i you see here <clears throat> angle l t p yeah there is a pond because there is a road going to the fish pond yeah so this forms a angle as well right and then angle i which is actually from the fish pond come back to this place traffic light and then go to the rose 
house right so that also forms another angle right now you see these two together will form a right angle right see this LTR is a right angle which is 90 degree right if this was maybe around 50 degree and this one was 40 degree how much will it become together 90 degree right so if any any two angles right added together if you get 90 degree then it is a what complementary angle got it yeah okay fine so the next one that we we have is adjacent angles so what is a an adjacent angle let me read the definition for it yeah if two angles a and b have a common vertex and and a common side then they are called adjacent angles okay so what does it mean is that right any two angles meeting at the same vertex this one also we can use it for the what is that adjacent angles because you see this angle and this angle they have common vertex and this middle side right this side of the angles for both of them it is common so these are also what adjacent adjacent angles right but since we started here you see here the middle line the side of the ot right ot this is a common side and then o is the common vertex so for these two angles right i mean these two angles are adjacent angles right got it right common side as well as common vertex then it is an adjacent angle right okay fine so now now let's see the next one vertical angle what is a vertical angle right let me read the definition for it okay vertical angles are two angles in which the sides of one angle are opposite rays to the sides of the other angle what does it mean yeah see this line it goes beyond that also right beyond that as well for example if it goes beyond that i could not show because maybe the bridge is underground road yeah okay let's take it that way so the road extends as well vertical angles are the angles of which one angles sides which is for example let's take this angle right maybe this one we mark it as n small n right this this is meeting at this point so let's mark this as uh, x point x you see y x f right the x f is one side and x y is another side for this angle n right n and you see here this is a ray extending the opposite side of this ray which is this line right this ray and opposite side of this ray will form another angle here right m small m so that is what it means the the sides of a particular angle right of which if you extend the opposite rays the opposite side right opposite side it will form another angle and they both will be equal so how do we how do we write it yeah how do we write it we write that angle y x f and j x w they are vertical angles or what you can write is angle n and m are vertical angles got it yeah okay fine so this is how a vertical angle is formed now you see here j x y and then w x f these are also vertical angles you see here see opposite of this line goes here opposite of this line goes here i mean uh, the ray goes here right okay so now this one is one angle as well right so these two are the sides of this angle and the opposite sides are this one that also forms another angle right so that is why these two are also vertical angles the next one is linear pair so the definition is if two adjacent angles like a and b here a and b having their non-common sides forming a straight angle or opposite rays then they are called linear pairs 
what does it mean you see here a is an angle and b is an angle what is the non common side for both of them this one this is a common side because they are adjacent angles right having a common uh, side also right so this is a non common side and this is a non common side as well again you see the non common side will form a straight angle you know what is straight angle straight angle is 180 degree right yeah a straight angle or opposite rays you see here straight opposite rays this one is going this way from mj is another is a ray from m towards y o this side is another ray as well yeah so that is why this is called what linear pair the next one is segment bisector what is a segment bisector let me read the definition for you segment bisector is a point or a line or a segment that divides the segment into two congruent parts right now what do i mean by that okay so almost we have used the entire map guys this one probably is the busiest road in your town yeah this segment bisector whenever whenever you read in in geometry or in mathematics there is a word called word called bi anything start with bi it means you are splitting into two that's all yeah so here bisector bisector means let's take uh, the let's take the i'll use a different color let's take from j yeah j to y yeah and there is the angle m yeah m right for a for a moment i'll just wipe out this n so that you don't get confused yeah so j and y and m right so what is a bisector so a line or a point or an angle that is dividing what a segment right into two equal parts or two congruent parts right now you see here segment is what line segment we always use segment for lines right j to y is a segment right now these two segments right this segment is kind of divided by the point m and the angle b or angle a any angle it actually meets at point m right or a line right or a ray mc right mc so all are meeting at this point when they divide these two this segment into two equal parts then it is called segment bisector yeah okay so which means this one is congruent to this one right this one until y yeah until y so from m to this one to this one the y until y they are congruent yeah or equal close to equal right so that is when we call it segment bisector in the angles we are going to see the last one which is called angle bisector an angle bisector is a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles this whole whole angle got no uh, gob this was about 60 degree actually 60 degree you see here t uh, small t t and u let's take those angles as two different angles t and u right okay so they divide these two angles right these two angles are divided by which one this ray the ray ot that this is a ray that is in the middle right this road that goes to the tree is a ray yeah that is in the middle of the angle that is gob right got it okay but that divides the whole angle this whole angle was 60 degree actually this one was 60 degree right but that this ray is dividing this 60 degree into 30 degree each dividing it into two different angles that is why yeah this ray is a angle bisector if ot is an ang angle bisector then got that is one angle got and tob they are what they are equal you got it so far okay so this is how you use the geometric stuffs to 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 read maps especially when you might come across lots of maps 
that talks about your subdivision your country or anything right it's all based on this one that's why i used this example to explain to you the mathematical system this is all for uh, the angles so in the next video i'm going to explain you the axioms as well as the postulates yeah so keep watching for the next videos in the mathematical system thanks